In this video, we will explain how to write a strong executive summary that is accessible for the non-expert audiences who may read reports that you produce as an engineer. You will also produce an executive summary as a part of your senior design project here in CCEE. First, what is an executive summary? An executive summary provides a short, accessibly written overview of a report. It is found after the table of contents, but before the main body of the report. It is considered a standalone page. That is, readers should understand the summary of your report without having to read the entire thing. When writing a report, you will write it last. You should know what your findings and recommendations are before you can write a summary of your report. Why should you know how to write an executive summary? As an engineer, the reports you write will likely have multiple audiences. While fellow engineers may read your report to understand the technical details, you must also consider how to make the report information understandable to company leaders or the clients who commission the project. These people need to be able to make a decision about the information you provide based just on reading the executive summary. An executive summary has several key features that distinguish it from other kinds of technical writing. First, it is a condensed statement of the main points of the report, usually one page long. Second, it's written using plain language or clear accessible words and short sentence structures for non-engineers to understand. To learn more about how to write clearly and concisely, check out our two-part series on this, linked in the description box below. Finally, the content of an executive summary focuses on the results, conclusions, and recommendations you make in your report. This is the information most relevant to the main readers of an executive summary. Executive summaries follow a fairly standard structure, mimicking the organization of your report. If you have a report of 20 pages or fewer, your summary will be no more than one page long. For longer reports, your executive summary may be an additional page longer. You will include a background overview paragraph, a brief explanation of your approach or methods, your main findings, and finally, any recommendations or implications for readers from your work. It's common to use subheadings to help your audience easily follow your points. Now, let's break down each of these parts in more detail. The opening paragraph of your executive summary introduces the project. You should provide an overview of the purpose, background, and scope of the report. You will discuss the problem or need for the work. Describe the problem with specific details when possible. The example on the screen explains a failure at a water treatment facility that led to the company being hired to conduct an assessment of the plant. You may also name the company hiring you to complete the work if applicable. The next paragraph of your executive summary should briefly state the methods you used to complete the project. Provide a high-level description for readers. Your audience does not need minute details of how you conducted your work. Elements that may be applicable could include the locations of observations and sources used, like the example on the screen shows, or also analytical approaches or models employed. The most important part of the executive summary is clearly stating the main findings. This portion may be comprised of several paragraphs that discuss the key results of your investigation or analysis. It is important that you write clear topic sentences that state the findings, like the example in this internal research report shown on the screen. The topic sentences tell executives at the company exactly what the team concluded and what the finding means for the organization. The last portion of your executive summary, if applicable to your project, will include the recommendations for the organization that stem from your project. Recommendations should be stated with a concise topic sentence in the active voice, followed by a brief explanation. You can number the recommendations to help readers track them easily as they read. In conclusion, the executive summary is an essential part of your engineering report that briefly explains your work for broad audiences. You will use accessible terms, short sentences, and active voice so non-engineers can understand both what you found and what you recommend they do as a result.